Hey everyone, Entash here, and today I'm going to be showcasing the Storm Javelin. If you're looking to freeze your opponents, electrocute your opponents, or even set them on fire, the Storm Javelin is a master of the elements, an aerial ace that is able to dominate the vertical spaces on the map, and in my opinion, one of the best javelins if you're looking to do team play. While you might not be the beefiest javelin out there, the damage you can dish out is amazing, and the ability to chain combos with your teammates is unparalleled by any other javelin. So, without any further ado, this is my Storm Guide. One of the things that sets the Storm apart from other javelins is its ability to stay in air during gunfights. This aerial vantage point allows you to see multiple enemies, where they're spawning, as well as land devastating elemental attacks from above. The storm's jets overheat much slower than the other javelins, allowing you to stay in air for a drastically longer time than anyone else. However, you do need to be careful because strafing and moving around in air will still cause your jets to overheat, and you're going to have to come down to the ground eventually. Lucky for you, Storm has an amazing dodge to get out of harm's way, and can use abilities like Frost Shards to freeze enemies in place and keep them from attacking you. Storm also has some of the best area of effect abilities, with its ultimate having three devastating charges for taking out large groups of enemies. Not only does it do tremendous burst damage, but it's also able to chain status effects to enemies in the nearby area. This passive ability also applies to any combo that the Storm does, so even if a teammate is using an element that you don't currently have, you'll be able to spread that status effect to enemies in the area. For beginner players, Storm will be a smart choice in almost any encounter that you enter, but in a master player's hands, Storm becomes one of the most devastating, most destructive javelins available in-game. While I've discussed the strengths of this javelin, it's also important to note that this is one of the squishiest or least tanky javelins in game. You're going to have a lower base health pool than almost anything else in the game, especially something like a Colossus, so going head on into your enemies is not a smart decision. Good movement, aerial angles, and nuking your enemies before they can kill you are all good opportunities to reduce the potential for death. But if you're going in and getting right into the front of the lines, there is the potential of dying. You need to be careful so that you can dish out as much damage as possible for your team. If you're dead, you're not helping anyone, so you need to play smart and play into safe areas even if you're flying above their heads. It's also worth noting that this is a very vertical and aerial class, so it's always going to be better to have your jets cooled off and be able to fly around. If you overheat, you're going to be at a bit of a disadvantage over something like an Interceptor or even a Ranger in close quarters combat, but your dodge can hopefully get you to safety and get you back in the air once things cool down. Now let's take a deeper look at some of the abilities and how you can combo with your Javelin. We're going to be looking at the ultimate, all of the abilities, as well as some of the support skills available. Starting things off, we've got Frost Shards, a multi-use, single target ability that will freeze all of your opponents in place. While it might not hit the hardest on its own, Frost Shards is one of the best abilities for applying the ice debuff in Anthem, allowing you and your teammates to combo with other abilities to unleash even more damage. Up next for ice abilities, we have Ice Storm. This is a 3 charge AoE ability that will devastate enemies caught in the middle of it. What's nice about Ice Storm is because its area of effect and the base damage is pretty solid, if enemies group up, you'll be able to not only freeze them and combo off of them, but the initial damage can be enough in some cases to flat out kill them, especially if you use multiple charges. If single target damage is more up your alley, Glacial Spear might be for you. After charging up, you'll let out a deadly ice blast that will devastate enemies' HP bars and is also a detonator ability, meaning if an enemy is afflicted by another status effect, using Glacial Spear will cause it to combo and do bonus damage. Our last ice ability on the list is Ice Blast. This is a self-cast area of effect ice attack that will leave your enemies frozen in place, this ability primes targets for combos, and is a great choice if you want a quick shot to stop your enemies in their tracks. Switching over to fire abilities, Burning Orb allows you to shoot a quick fireball to clean up weak enemies, or charge it up to do a devastating blast. 
Living Flame will fly out and chase down enemies in the area, igniting them and doing bonus damage over time. And finally, Flame Burst is a 5 charge area of effect attack for taking out clumped up enemies. This doesn't apply Ignite, but is a great opportunity to clear multiple groups of weaker tier enemies. However, if Lightning is more your style, I've got a deadly combination for you. Shock Burst will send out a bouncing orb that will bounce off surfaces and chase towards enemies that will also prime them for combos. You can then follow it up with an area of effect lightning strike which has some of the highest base damage for the storm. Our final lightning ability is Arc Blast. Upon charging up, you'll send out Chain Lightning that will bounce from your initial target to other enemies in the area. As for support abilities, Winwa will give you cover in a pinch, blocking enemy projectiles while allowing you to damage them through it. The other support ability, Quickening Field, will reduce the cooldown of your other abilities when you and your teammates are inside the area of effect. Storm's melee ability, Fiery Strike, is a close-range fire attack that will allow you to combo with other abilities. You can also dash and attack to close the gap on enemies and get a quicker animation, or jump into the air and slam down to the ground with a fiery AoE. Finally, for Storm's ultimate ability, Elemental Storm brings down three separate storms of different elements to combo upon your enemies. It does great single target damage, but also will chain different status effects to enemies in the area that aren't killed by the initial blast. This makes it powerful for single targets, as well as wiping out big groups of enemies during any sort of stronghold or mission you might be completing. By finding a combination of abilities that you enjoy, and mastering everything at your disposal, you become a deadly force that will be an asset to any team you play with. If you're looking to complete strongholds at some of the hardest difficulties, having a storm on your team is always going to be a benefit. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this storm guide. I'm Mtashed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye